What is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Hey. Yo, it's been a long time guys. I know, right? You miss me. I miss you guys as well. We are vlogging today and we are also doing q &A, a little workout session today. So uh, let's just get right into it. I don't want to talk too much about bullshit other than my apartment is a trash can pretty much. It's ridiculous how bad it is right now, but it's all for packing because we are going on a holiday quite soon. We're also hitting Dubai soon. So I have to pack this bad boy. Do all the wash, like all my clothing here, like, and also the new clothing that, by the way, gotta wait, guys, I, I'm feeling myself today with the Yeezys, but I don't know why, but uh, we're having our brand new athlete outfit on right now. I'm looking lean, looking lean a little bit. All right, so I'll show you guys a little. Here is the new performance. Oh my God, joggers, they're nice. And the new scoop neck. There's a whole bunch of stuff releasing on this Saturday, but I don't want to talk about it too much right now. I'll go over it later. Uh, we're currently going for a haircut because it's needed. And also, while we walk, let's just go over some questions. Been here for a minute. So while we wait, let's do a little question. Is fasting good or bad? It's a great tool to use if you want to lose weight. I say it's good. Jesus. That literally took five minutes. Guys, coming soon. Now, while we wait, we can do some questions because we have to wait for 30 more minutes and I want to answer some questions. So, buzzing for the brand, bro. Will it be like Gymshark Shark Stuff's athlete? No, it will be not. It will be more of a lifestyle brand. I want to make hoodies at first. Uh, it's not gonna be t-shirts, stringers, tank tops. Not yet, at least. But um, I want to keep it low stock, low key, a little bit exclusive. So there's only gonna be 110 pieces of this design dropping probably next month. They're in production right now. So I'm really, really excited, but it's gonna be one time only this design. So you can only get it once and while it's gone, it's gone. So that's the idea of the thing to start off with at least. Um, obviously when you're starting out, it's a little bit harder to do a lot of pieces because I want to see if you guys like it or not. And it's very important to me to keep it low key and a little bit exclusive. So only the real people who want to support me get to support me or get the brand because they like it, you know? So how do I keep motivated when the results are slow to come? Um, it's not really about motivation at that point. It's about dedication and persistence. And also it's about looking at your diet, your workout and see where you can improve and see maybe you're not progressing in weight. Maybe you're not progressing in form. Maybe you're not trying the right things. Uh, and it all comes down to effort at that point, you know? Relentless effort. Um, I'm finally excited to say it on camera and tell you guys about it because I'm super excited. I'm super proud of it. I've been working on this for, for quite a while, so it's been a long time coming. The idea of relentless effort is that no matter where you start, what your starting point is, if you have a lot of privileges or you don't, you have to put in the work to make shit happen for yourself. And it's about effort, putting in effort. But effort alone is just not enough. You have to put in relentless effort. Meaning, so you'd like to go one step further than the rest. That's relentless effort for me. All right, so that was the haircut. I picked up some hair gel as well because I ran out and I'm going on a trip for about a week and a half. So I won't be able to do my hair all the time if I don't have any hair gel, you know what I'm saying? But now we're back home. And now it's time to do a lot of boring shit. Taxes, like all the other bullshit. Cleaning up. <laughs>
What is going on guys? I want to do a little commentary over the workout clips right here. Um, I'm still struggling with this shoulder injury. I'm still struggling with bench. So we are doing four sets of five repetitions, or at least we tried. Um, because my shoulder just cannot handle anymore. And I'm slowly building up to more, but it's so it starts to get painful after a while. So I kind of have to keep my uh, reps a little lower. But um, recently I discovered doing neutral grip dumbbell presses really helps me out. So you'll see that after the clip uh, of this clip that I'm doing the neutral grip um, dumbbell presses because it's less taxing on my shoulder. And um, for the first time in forever, I can feel the right side of my chest um, actually contract. So that's really, really positive. But it's, I know it's been a while since I did any videos or any workout clips, but I really want to get back into it. And I know I say that a lot, but um, I actually really enjoyed recording this video, um, just vlogging again and talking about the stuff. The thing is, uh, the, the reason that I didn't want to make videos as much is because I feel like if you don't have anything to say, uh, then shut the hell up, you know? So I really feel, felt like I didn't have anything to share with you guys. Um, so that's why I kind of not made any videos. Um, by the way, uh, I super set the neutral grip dumbbell press with the neutral grip landmine press uh, just to finish it off. Really, really nice. Uh, as you can see, I have my feet on the bench uh, to get keep my um, back straightened out. But it felt really, really good. So it's definitely a recommendation for you guys to try out. Um, I'm definitely experimenting with more exercises um, as well as this one, the decline push-up. Um, with very, um, I place my hands outwards a little bit because uh, that way I can focus a little bit more on the incline part and the upper chest part, uh, which really feels really, really good. So um, definitely also a recommendation to try out yourself. I usually do that three sets or four sets for um, you know eight to ten repetitions, and then I finish off with some uni unilateral chest presses. Um, so yeah, but yeah, uh, excited to make videos again. I, I'm going on a vacation. I'm not sure if I'm going to record a lot there, but maybe I can vlog there a little bit because the whole family's going to be there. My girlfriend's going to be there. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Anyways, enjoy the rest of this video. And if you have any questions, let me know. 300 calories on the treadmill. I'm sweating like crazy. Hey. Fruit, Back from the gym. I am sweaty as hell. I need to shower. I need to clean everything up. I have to pack. I have to edit this video. Oh my God. It's gonna be so busy. But now food first and then shower and then I'll check in with you guys with dinner. All right, boys and girls, we are currently making dinner. We have some macaroni, some cream. We got Sensei on the FaceTime. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, hanging out as always. We got some, um, some cream to make some carbonara kind of thing. But this is a light version, so it's not as much fat as the heavy version, I guess. And then we have some ham right here to put in. I'm trying to go for 150 grams of macaroni, which translates to about 100 grams of carbs. So that's really good. I might go for a little bit more, but we'll see what happens either way. This thing is 500, so I have to go like this is 250, and then like right here is 150. So let's uh, see how we do with that. Whoever makes these packages is a fucking dickhead. Bro, it's so annoying, bro. It's everywhere. Anyways, this looks about 200. And I'm just gonna go for it because I'm pretty hungry anyways. And All right, this looks about 200 grams, so let's cook some water and then let's fucking boil the shit and eat it. Uh, so I might add some more ham while I'm at it because we need to go up like 30-ish grams of fat. Um, and we're not eating anything more really that's really fat, so this is probably good for now for all the fats. It smells super good and it's super simple. All right, I'm gonna hang up, bro, because I am gonna go eat. So I'll see you quite soon because um, we're going to Dubai, brother. <laughs> all right, us, us. So I would say this is around 30 grams of fats, which is really good, about, I would say 150-ish carbs, which is also really, really good. I'm excited to eat this. I'm so hungry. Then I'm gonna shower, and then I'm gonna get to work all night on cleaning, taxes, and preparing for my trips to Malaga and Dubai. Couple meals left in the day, two to be exact. The first one is gonna be 
a protein bar. Now, I ordered these six layer protein bars for my protein because I wanted to see how they taste and they're quite good. Uh, the macros are nine fat, 20 protein, and how much carbs per bar? 18 carbs, so it's not that bad. I can still use some fats. Uh, this is 10, which is gonna be the icing on the cake for me for the day. So uh, I'm gonna enjoy this real fast while watching TV stream a little bit. Just hit a snipe, really nice. But um, yeah, you can order these. Today only, I have a discount code. It's gonna be on screen right now. It's gonna be a special discount on all of the products, pretty sure, 38%. So if you wanna go check that out, leave a, I'll leave a link in the description so you can check it out. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this now. Look at the amount of layers. This is a six layer. This is the party flavor, party cake flavor. Holy Christ.